Yeah, good morning all. I am very much happy to welcome you back again in the, our financial management and costing for textile and apparel classes. So students, today in our class we are going to see the exercise problems and how to calculate the net present value for evaluating a project proposal. So we can make a short revision and re recall on net present value. Net present value method is one of the modern method for evaluating the project proposals under capital budgeting. In this method, cash inflows are considered with the time value of the money. That is the major difference between the traditional method and the modern method. So the net present value will describe the summation of the present value of the cash inflow and present value of the cash outflow. It will give the difference between the total present value of the future cash inflows and total present value of the future cash outflows. So simply we can compute the net present value by the formula total present value of the cash inflows minus our net investment. Okay, what are the merits and demerits? It recognizes the time value of the money. It considers the total benefits arising out of the proposal. It's the best method for selection mutually exclusive projects and helps to achieve the maximization of the shareholders wealth. But the demerits is it's difficult to understand and calculate because it is considering the net present value of the all cash inflows and outflows. So while computing this we will find some complexes. So this was somewhat light difficult to understand. It needs the discount factor for calculation of present values. Based on the discount factors only we can able to predict the present value of the cash flows. So for calculating the discount factors for even flow method for even cash flow method and uneven cash flow method there were different types of formulas and different types of tables. So there is also some other another difficulty. It is not for suitable for the projects having different effective lives. If the two different projects have two different effective lives then it will not be suitable. So let me start our exercise problems kindly make a preparation with the table which I have shown which I have shared to you already for calculating the present value table so with the help of the table only we can able to find out the values for the discount factors so first problem will be the management of fine textile company considering to purchase an equipment to be attached with their main manufacturing machine so the equipment cost is 6,000 and it will increase the annual cash inflow by 2,200. So the useful life of the equipment is 6 years. But after 6 years, it has no salvage value. So the management requires a 20% return on our investments. So what they are asking is to compute the net present value for this investment and whether this equipment should purchase according to NPV. So, simply we know the formula NPV is equal to total present value of cash inflow minus net investment. So, now we are forming a tabular column with the description years, amount of cash inflow, factor, percentage value, percent value. So, in the description, we are having the annual cash inflow. The, it has come somewhere the years 1 to 6. So what is the amount of cash flow they have given? 2200. So now what we are doing is we have to calculate the 20% factor value from the respective table. How? Any guesses with the demerits we have discussed? How we can get the amount of cash in pro? Okay, I'll let it, let it, let it. Let it. That I expect. Okay, so the data is given is the equipment cost is six thousand. So that it is the net investment that has to be divided with the help of the cash inflow two thousand two hundred. So we will get a value of five point five seven five. Then we have to find the twenty percent factor value from the table. When we are using our table for 20% factor value with the given result 5.57 that is for the 6 years then we can able to find out the value 
it comes around 3.326 now we have to multiply our present value with the amount of cash inflow so that we can get the net present value of the sorry present value of the cash inflow so that will come around 7317 we already know with the given data net investment is 6000 so 6000 uh, minus 73 sorry our formula is total present value of cash in first minus net investment so 7317 minus 6000 we are getting 1317 as a net present value yes it has the positive value npv in the equipment can be purchased so with the second example we are going for various years that it is different cash inflows the project requires a net investment of 2,25,000 and it has to be expected to generate the following net cash inflows for year 1, 2, 3, 4 we have to compute the net present value of the project with the minimum desired rate of return is 2% so what we have to do first we have to find out the cash flows how much the real cash flow is they have given 4 years and the present value is at 12% so again with the help of the table with the for the 12% for the 4 years you can be able to see that 0 0.893, 0 0.797, 0 0.712, 0 0.636 respectively for the periods 1, 2, 3, 4 so we have to note it with these values and on the table we have to multiply 0 0.893, 797, 712, 636 then we have to multiply the present value uh, uh, table into the cash flow so we are getting some corresponding values now we have to add all these present values of the cash flow so we are getting a 2,26,295 rupees our net investment is 2,25,000 when we separating the total cash flow with the uh, net investment we are getting the net present value around 1295 so it's again a positive NPV so we are accepting the proposal in case the net investment is 226000 and the total present value of the cash flow will be 225000 then the value will be in the negative in such cases the negative NPV we should not approve the proposal or if the total cash flow and the net investment is same then the result will be zero that it is zero npv in such case we can accept the project based on the other conditions okay so now we are going to see somewhat comparison of two different projects with the different uneven cash flows okay so for project x and y they have given the initial investments estimated life period and scrap value but before doing the cash flow for two projects for the five years they have noted a point the profits before depreciation and after taxation but in this sum we doesn't need for the help of a present value table because they have in the sum itself they have provided the present value factors at 10 percent so we can have easily able to calculate the present value table with them so what are the things we have to do so the first step is we have to find out the cash inflows for both the projects x and y okay so what is the cash inflows has been given as we have to note it out okay then we have to calculate the present value of the factor that it has also given for the respective years from 1 to 6 starting from 0.979 to 0.564 we have marked out the things okay now we have to calculate compute the present value of the net cash inflow for both the projects so for project tax 5000 into the present value table value we will get 4545 in the same manner project y 20000 into 59 we are getting 18.10 so for the period of 5 years as such given we have making the calculation now the important point is not to the scrap value which has given in the 
for both the projects so the estimated life for both the project is five years the scrap value is considered after the five years so we are taking the 550 year value 0.621 for considering the net cash flow of the scrap value so we have calculated that and we have get the two different total present values for project x we are getting 24,227 for project y 34,728 so the total net investment for project x is 20,000 project y is 30,000 so now we are getting the values for project x is 4,227 as the total net present value for project y we are getting 4,728 when we compared both the things both are in the positive NPV now what we have to do which one has the higher present value that should be taken into the account so project y has the higher present value than the project x so we are accepting the project y proposal and we are rejecting the project x proposal so I hope students you have been now clear with the net present value calculation exercises First we have seen the even cash flow method, then we have seen the uneven cash flow method. Now we have seen the two different project proposal comparisons. So if you have any doubts or questions, you may ask. Okay, thank you. Then there was if in future if you have any doubts arise regarding this net present value, you may ping me to my WhatsApp number or write a mail to me mail ID. I am ready to clear your doubts. Okay. I would like to thank you all for your passion listening to the class. Thank you, students.